I am Andres Kulikowskis. This is Math for Wisdom. But the problem is, France. does it make sense to keep things in a physical me? form, you know? I am speaking with Franz Narada, a pioneer of the Global Villages Movement in Vienna, Austria. I am in my village home in Lithuania. France inspired me to live here. We're talking how to preserve his legacy for future generations, the ideas and relationships which are changing our world to be a world of global villages. In um, benefiting from your, your collection, I think that's maybe the big trick is to find out who could be interested, right? But if you put it yeah. out, you'll have a chance. I just had two conversations with Helmut Leitner and, and uh, my friend uh, Michael. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the, the problem is, does it make sense to keep things in a physical form? You know, there, there are many collections that are just uh, maintained by some people and after their death, they are thrown away. And uh, so one of the persons was, uh, Michael uh, said, uh, you have to try to digitize as much as you can and to think about it afterwards. And uh, that's not exactly the style I want to do it. Um, and also my idea is that there should be a physical connection. And uh, all that I want to, uh, to do is to create interest in maintaining my physical connection even after when I'm not here. So uh, how do I do that? In trying to outline what is the content and trying to show that there are gems everywhere. Well, so one way to look at it is like, what's an existing example that you would like to, um, you yeah. know, like my what's, what's model, an example? My role model is the Henry Miller Memorial Library. <laughs> Henry Miller. And what was, who is Henry Miller? I f forget. Uh, I don't know. Oh, a famous author. He was considered uh, uh, almost an outlaw because his books were uh, sexually very open uh, and uh, he, they were banned in the United States. They just appeared in was, was he a British author or American author? He was an American author. And, uh, Henry Miller? Henry Miller, yeah. And he, he lived in Big Sur in California uh, in the late 40s. And, uh, and so he had this uh, friend there, Emil White, from Austria. And after his death, Emil White set up a Henry Miller Memorial Library. <laughs> And I visited that and I was absolutely, absolutely, how should I say, overwhelmed by the wealth of this information in such a remote rural spot, you know, and you can get more than in than in the most uh, sophisticated urban library. And that was part of uh, what, what fueled my global villages enthusiasm. Well, so I think the question is, you know, and this is a question like, do you have a close friend who would love to do that? You know, I don't know. Like you don't have a wife. I mean, I think, right? No. Like, like that's a typical thing, right? Like a wife would. Uh... Um, sometimes wives are not exactly the people that. They may not be the best, but that's a very common thing. You know, like the, the, the scientist dies, the wife has the papers, right? right? And then she decides what to do with them, right? Clearing yeah, house. Just a, uh, we had just a throwaway case, which is very tragic. <laughs> Henry, Harry Gluck. Uh, yeah, and it happens. Uh, well, like my friend, brother David Ellison Bay, he lost his whole house. They threw everything yeah. out. You know, he had this, his house was his mind. So it's what you want is kind of rare, you know, and it's... Um, even in the case of famous people, acknowledged people, it's not. A, see, but and for a lot of those people, what happens is that uh, there may be some university takes their collection of writings and puts it in an archive. Yeah. So well, so so that's it's all about if you wish, yeah, it's all about making known what the potential use of this of this archive could be, you know, and uh, 
And I, I think, uh, uh, as you said, uh, I have been in touch with many, many people and uh, many, many developments, especially when I traveled around the world or traveled to to to, to United States. And I met Paolo Soleri, met yeah. uh, uh, people that uh, that really made a difference and uh, and uh, had beautiful talks with them. I mean, Joseph Smythe, Tony William, Richard Register, you name them, you know. Some of them I brought to Vienna and uh, we had ongoing conversation and projects together and some of them uh, disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but but it is it is uh, it is uh, very very important for me uh, to uh, to make uh, people recognize there is some material uh, keeping uh, preserved for later use. That is that is. So one so one one thing would be. Um, I mean, there's two ways to go. You, I mean, like just kind of like thinking of like Isaac Asimov. You read the Foundation Trilogy or not? Uh, did you read Isaac yeah. Asimov or not? Yeah. yeah, so they had like two foundations, like, right? like one was in the center of the, you know, megalopolis planet, whatever. The other one was in the far, you know, most remote place in the universe. So, but like the more natural seems to be, like you said, like big Sir Case, like to pick a village that is very much in tune with uh, archiving, you know, which would really like to do that. So what's a village out there? The other would be like, you know, go to the University of Vienna, let's say, and just say, hey, would you like to, you know, what could this be That's interesting to you? Because it could be combined. Yeah, we don't know. Or they could, yeah, maybe they could be combined, right? Like, so maybe um, that's a nice way to actually think about it, to think of it as a bridge, right? Like, yeah. so what what would be the place? That, see, uh, so unfortunately, though, like a lot of these villages or ventures, they, they do not have long histories. Like Kirkpak, uh, you know, was 20 years or I don't know how many years, but that's all over now, right? Like Kirkpak is no more or. Right, right, right. Yeah, but but uh, there are places, uh, yeah, uh, even bigger that failed, like Park Pit, uh, or I don't know what happened uh, to Coletta di Castel Bianco or things like that, you know. I think most of them f do not have lives that go beyond a few decades. If that's a, that's quite that's a success, basically, a success. Yeah, yeah something basically. Less... And, uh, today, with the, if you go to the Rebuild Conference, you you see a lot of. Uh, new places popping up, but uh, mm -hmm. I think there must be some interest, especially from the people that do it, to know what has been before us, you know, that that that, that could be interesting. So that's why, yeah, the, the kind of village, you know, that maybe is like the headquarters of a global, uh, you know, I think of like this, uh, there used to be the global eco-villages or something. Um, yeah, there is the Global right. Eco-Village Network, uh, and uh, of yeah, course. Yeah, and they the, may have a center, or they may they have, have uh, they have natural physical centers like uh, Findhorn, for example. And, uh, right. And so they are, right. they are very active in Findhorn, or they used to be very active in uh, in uh, reaching out even by by video. Uh, <coughs> I I found people that that have the same dreams about the village university, and they they also uh, they also try to create something similar, but uh, things got fragmented and and. Uh, uh, I mean, all I have now as a as a as a point of connection is my Facebook group. Uh, that's mm -hmm. why I would like to publish our our talk uh, uh, in this Facebook group and 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 get some response. Yeah, do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Another is like if you had a donor, like you know, if there was some rich donor who said they'd like to um, make this happen, you know, then that would of course be. But that would you know where they'd like to say, well, I'd like to see a village. Um, have you know a well like how this could all fit in one room do you think or does it have to be more than that i think it could fit in one room uh all together because it now fits in in one room and uh, you know you could call it you know basically like right like you could i think like it or i don't know how you do it but i have a i have a, a, a another dream uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's even more ambitious you know to have a real hall, yeah, like a big monastery library, yeah, with many people. Uh, uh, um, how should I say, manifested brain, <laughs> libraries <laughs> of the mind, you know, uh, as we used to call our our artist group, yeah? uh, and and I, I I like that very much because that 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 uh, that name, uh, libraries of the mind, 
that we used for several years. It, it, it came up in the context of this uh, of this Henry Miller Memorial Library. Uh, so, and so this this whole theme of yours about monasteries, you know, in the in the, in yeah. the new in the contemporary time, and so um, but kind of like in the vein of what you're saying, to have um, I mean, think of there are places where people go on intellectual retreats, right? And now yeah. imagine if that kind of place had like a room or maybe several rooms, you know, where like each room was the library of a thinker. And so like, you know, you sit in that room, you know, you come for, let's say, two months, right, to work on things. But you, instead of coming into an empty room, right, you come into a room that's like the Franz Narada room, right? Yeah, yeah. And so you you get the vibe of like, well, what's it? And the idea is that, that this somehow can still um, inspire a person to be in this, kind of like when I was living with Brother David Ellison Bay, like it was just an inspiring house to be in, or, you know, to live at the Hotel Karolinenhof, right? Like. Yeah. To be in that environment, I think that uh, that would be an interesting uh, thing to um, try to do a prototype of, you know, with your stuff and then see, well, that's a nice way for lots of people to be um, immortalized, so to speak, or okay. memorialized. Right? And see, the, then it becomes like a historic thing, like you're living in the 70s or 80s or 90s, right? Like Yeah, like, uh, you know, like the Red Victorian in uh, Haight Ashbury. I enjoyed uh -huh. it very much because they they had this concept of hotel. I, it was always my role model for Karolinenhof, but nobody understood it. You know, uh, I, I wanted to have uh, to have a, a hotel which which mirrors the spirit of a city and uh, and makes it accessible for the visitors. So uh, unfortunately, <laughs> my sister uh, or everybody who was in touch with my mother, uh, they, 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 they did not even want to consider. Oh, right. Yeah. But so like imagine a room where you could see like, you know, I mean, there should be one clear table for the person who comes to work, but there could be different places like a, actually, a nook where there's a in Macintosh, my little, right? Like, in my yeah. hotel in Bad Radkersburg, I have already I have already tried something like that. Mm -hmm. So you have the health room, you have the geography room, you have the classic <laughs> literature room. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, but the problem is, um, uh, I'm not able to run it as a hotel on my own. You know, that is much right. too much work for myself. You know, but 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 I, I I'm all the time uh, uh, toiling with this uh, this uh, this. Uh, concept and thank you very much for bringing it up because well, uh, and you know but, uh, but to actually take it one step further like um maybe to contact hotels you know there's all kinds of hotels in the world maybe you could find a hotel of the size of floor you know hotel like a hotel that would might say yeah that would work for us you could you know if you could supply us with your things we would try it out we, we would have this hotel room and see are there hotels like that in the world where maybe there is? Andreas, you're always a great source <laughs> to talk to. So I think we have now uh, we have now 14, 15 minutes. That's okay. exactly the, that's exactly <laughs> right. So we end here and hi to everybody. Thank you. Whoever enjoys France as a treasure. We love you, France. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. OK, bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, go to mathforwisdom.com or simply read the description to this video to learn how you can join our Math for Wisdom discussion group and our study groups. Thank you for liking this video, for subscribing to this YouTube channel, and for supporting Math for Wisdom through Patreon. Math for Wisdom, really a great group. I've been a member now for a good stretch. All you gotta do is go to Patreon and sign up. And boom, you're contributing. It's that easy.